Well, Pink Pumpkin Day at Lehman Farms is coming up this weekend. The event was rescheduled from earlier in the year. Lehman Farms actually grows pink pumpkins and they paint the pink pumpkins too. Those are the ones that they grow, Patrick. Very nice. Uh, Susan G. Coleman, Virginia Blue Ridge, getting some of the proceeds. New this morning, an artist in Roanoke found a unique way to spread awareness. WSLS sends Rob Manch joining us live from Roanoke with more on an underwater sculpture that's being used to honor a woman fighting the disease. Rob, good morning. Good morning, Patrick. Well, yeah, here it is, the mermaid sculpture that artist Thomas McDonald has been working on for the past three months here in his workshop in downtown Roanoke. He says come February, he'll be lowering a 50,000-pound cement version of the sculpture below the waves in West Palm Beach, Florida. That's where model for the sculpture, Andrea Torrente, calls home. Now, McDonald says he chose Torrente as his model for the sculpture because he, several members of his own family are survivors of breast cancer. Once complete, he he will create a polyurethane mold and work with students at the Riviera Beach Maritime Academy to make a cement replica to be submerged underwater. Now, Torrente says she's excited to see this finished product. You don't know tomorrow might bring, you might not be around because of cancer, right? But to know that the image of my face will be there for years, can't explain it. It's tremendous. Well, McDonald adorned the statue with one tear that he says represents Torrente's 14-year-old daughter. Now, this is Torrente's third bout with breast cancer, and McDonald says his hope is that his statue memorializes her story and struggle for divers in West Palm Beach, Florida, to see for years to come. Okay, so we see the similarities between the sculpture and the breast cancer survivor's face. How does he make it look so similar? Well, Jenna, I mean, that's a really interesting question. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool process. He takes a, a liquid rubber solution and pours it over uh, uh, Torrente's face, which creates a cast that he then molds the clay around. And so, he, like I said, he'll be lowering a cement version of that uh, below the waves in West Palm Beach, Florida, come February. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to follow up in February then. Maybe we can get an underwater camera yeah. and see it. Rob Banch reporting live for us this morning. Thanks.